And gang, since we're on this topic, okay, keep this in mind, right? In Canada, during the trucker protests, lockdowns, mandates, mandates by dictators, tyrants in Canada, really, you can agree or disagree, but basically, bureaucrats, politicians forced all of Canada, all of a, all, a whole country to abide by their dictates. They prevented people from traveling, from working, right? From having bodily autonomy, informed consent, and made a mockery of the Nuremberg Code, right? Not only that, in Canada, the Canadian government froze Canadian bank accounts because they supported a peaceful protest, right? So they froze people's bank accounts. Okay, I, I really want people to really appreciate what took place, right? Time is money, right? That's a, that's a saying that's been around for, I don't know how long, but it's been around for a long time, longer than I've been alive, right? Time is money. You work, you put your labor into something to make money to be able to live your life, right? So when you work when you get paid and you put your money in a bank that's your labor your time your life that you spend and that's you <laughs> that's you uh storing your wealth your time for in the future that you need to use right the canadian government froze people's bank accounts so they stole people's time people's work people's wealth people's ability to do financial transactions right to take care of their families so you as an individual that works and you make money and hopefully you're working enough that you can bank some of the money i.e bank some of the money put some of the money in the bank the government stepping in and freezing that money that means they took the work that you had done and made it null and void i.e you're a slave right they turned you into a slave people really need to wrap their heads around what took place in Canada and what is taking place in other places but Canada was a perfect example right that's what will happen if central bank digital currencies come into play the governments and the banks and the oligarchs and the technocrats and the tyrants and the bureaucrats and the politicians will be able to freeze your money your time your work that means you're nothing but a slave okay digest that if you haven't figured it out yet and figure out what you're going to do to prevent them from doing this and how you're going to hold them accountable